you doing? I'm Paul Begley, Bala Perrier. Uh, this is my favorite water to drink, Perrier. Expensive, I rarely get any, but occasionally I, get, I found it on sale. Cold Perrier, just the minerals that, that's one of the good things France did, you know. This is breaking news. The reason I'm, 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 I'm just pumped and I'm breaking in right now is because Mount Merapi, Mount Merapi erupted just as I had predicted it would less than 24 hours ago. If you were watching my videos, go back and watch. Monday morning I did a video entitled about Indonesia that, that the, uh, a volcano was going to erupt and that 40,000 people have been told to evacuate the area. I made that prediction. I read from the Bible, Revelation chapter 6, explaining the events that are going to take place. 11 minutes. I launched that video. It launched at 10.31 Eastern Standard Time. 10.31 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And at 10.42 Eastern, Eastern Standard Time, an earthquake hit. It wasn't the volcano but an earthquake in the same region there in Indonesia. Now, after that earthquake hit, I went on and did a video explaining that the earthquake had hit and that I read again Revelation chapter 6 explaining the events that's going to take place, including there will probably be a tsunami and that the volcano, Mount Merapi, is still going to erupt and that these are all signs of the second coming of the Lord. It doesn't mean he's going to come tomorrow doesn't mean it's going to come in 2012. It doesn't mean it's going to come in 2052. But it does mean he is, his imminent return is nearing. And we're approaching the beginning of what I believe the seven-year tribulation period. I don't know exactly when that is, but soon. So, all right. I predicted that there would be a volcano. Eleven minutes later, there was a major earthquake. 7.7 .7 is now the official word on the Richter scale, that was the magnitude of the quake there in Indonesia area. That was in Jakarta. 24 hours later, the tsunami hit. After thousands ran for cover during the earthquake, fleeing in the mountains to make sure they were safe, when they felt safe, they came back. The Bible, do you know the Bible says when they say peace and safety, then it's going to be the sudden destruction? 24 hours later, here come the tsunami from that quake, killing 113 people. Hundreds are missing, as high as 500 or more. A complete islands, little islands just off the coast of Indonesia have just completely disappeared as that tsunami came and swallowed it. Well, just in the last hour, hour, hour and a half, I guess, there's been three eruptions on Mount Merapi, as we predicted it would happen. And I'm going to tell you something. The main one hasn't happened yet. The main massive explosion, that one has not happened yet. But your folks, I'm telling you, if you're in that area, if you're part of that 40,000 people living around the base of Mount Merapi, you got to get out of there. This thing is going to blow sky high. But anyway, in the last hour and a half or so, there's been three eruptions. Can, we read, can I read to you from, uh, I believe this is the New York Times. Now, I'm not positive. Give me a moment here. This is late breaking news. Then I'm going to read to you Revelation 8. Can you hang with me? This is late breaking. This is important. This is God just revealing to me. Sometimes you get revelation, knowledge of God, and then it just starts happening. And it even stuns you when you're even receiving it. Okay, let me just say, let me read it here. Mount Merapi. Okay. Mount Merapi is located in the world's most active areas for earthquakes and volcanoes. Indonesia endured two days of environmental disasters after a powerful earthquake yesterday and a tsunami today. Later this afternoon, an erupting volcano struck in separate regions of the Indonesian uh, coast. Um, killing hundreds and displacing thousands of people. Now, the tsunami was triggered by a 7.7 .7 magnitude undersea earthquake, which we told you happened yesterday. It hit the Mentawai Islands, Mentawai Islands, late Monday, and it killed 113 people. It left hundreds missing, including eight, at least eight foreigners. Officials say thousands of more 
thousands of people are left homeless due to the tsunami. Meanwhile, Mount Merapi, the volcano in Indonesia, erupted three times today. Three times today, here, especially in the last hour and a half to two hours. Merapi's volcano in Indonesia erupted at least uh, erupted three times today, forcing thousands of nearby residents to flee, choking on smoke. One person was killed from the smoke. At least ten more was, died of severe burns, and dozens other have been burnt. This is the immediate uh, casualty count, expected to be higher. Thousands are running. It was immediately clear why the two disasters occurred within hours of each other. It's because this entire region, which is called the Ring of Fire, is prone to environmental disasters because of its location on the so-called Pacific Ring of Fire. So um, this is what's happening. I want to read to you, uh, I told you that the earth would become as black as sackcloth of hair. Can I read this, what it says? And this is Revelation 6. It said, I looked and behold a pale horse. And his name that sat on him was death and hell, and it followed with him. Give me one moment here. Uh, and here's some of the things he said would happen. He said, power was given to them over the fourth part of the earth to kill with the sword, with hunger, with death, and with the beasts of the field. And uh, it said, I beheld, in verse 12, I beheld it when he had opened the sixth seal, and lo, there was a great earthquake. The sun became black as sackcloth of hair. Now, an earthquake won't cause the sun to turn black. An earthquake will open the earth, send tremblings and things falling, and create tsunamis, which we just we just witnessed it. But what causes the sun to become black as sackcloth of hair? A volcano. What has just happened in the last two hours? Three eruptions, Mount Merapi, volcano. But that's still not even the main one, okay? That's not the main one. You heard me say it. You heard me say it. You're watching me say it. And behold, I saw, and he opened the sixth seal. This angel did. And lo, there was a great earthquake. And the sun became black as sackcloth of hair. And the moon became as blood. There's going to be fire coming from this volcano. So much for it's going to reflect off the moon. And the stars of heaven fell unto the earth, even as a fig tree casteth her untimely figs, when she is shaken of a mighty wind. These are the astronomical signs we will see. Not necessarily going to happen the same time we're having the tsunami, the earthquake, and the volcano. But it is something we're going to see as these signs become evident. The heavens departed as a scroll when it is rolled together and every mountain and island were moved out of their places. And we have, like I said, this mountain's exploding, earthquake is shaking things, and, uh, and these islands disappeared in the tsunami. Now, if you turn to Revelation chapter 8 just for a moment, man, we'll run out of time. Do I have to do another one? And here's what it says. Um, and when he opened the seventh seal, there was silence in heaven for the space of a half hour. As God thinks. He thinks. And I saw the seven angels which stood before God. To, to them were given seven trumpets. And another angel came and stood at the altar, having a golden censer, and there was given unto him much incense, that he should offer it with the prayers of the saints upon the golden altar which is before the throne, and the smoke of the incense which came with the prayers of the saints, ascended up to God out of the angel's hand. The angel took the censer and filled it with fire of the altar, cast it onto the earth. There were voices and thunderings and lightnings and earthquakes. I'm going to read more to you. We're running out of time. I'm Paul Bagley. It's late breaking news. Do you see what's happening? We've had an earthquake, a tsunami, and three small eruptions of Mount Merapi all in the last 24 hours. These are part of the signs. But the big explosion, Mount Merapi is going to blow sky high. That's going to happen soon. I'm Paul Begley. Let me hear your comments. Let me hear them. Let me hear them.